We're here down at the Holden dealership talking to Greg Murphy, four-time Bathurst winner and supercar racing legend. Greg, wonderful to have you here in Ashburton. Yeah, great to be here. I haven't uh, unfortunately uh, had the time previously to spend spend uh, more than just um, a run through the streets and out the other side. So it's it's nice to nice to spend a couple of days here. Ashburton is passionate about their motorsport. Mm -hmm. What do you think of Wheels Week? Ah, oh, listen, it's a, it's a great thing, obviously, to, to have a, a community that um, embraces uh, all thing, uh, all things cars and, and uh, loves their motorsport. And obviously, the, the street sprints are on t today as well, which is fantastic. Looking forward to going and have a look at that. So, you know, um, you know, car culture in this country is enormous, and Ashburton certainly isn't uh, any different to any part, other part of New Zealand. But they've, um, you know, they go about uh, making a festival out of it every year, which I think is just sensational. How's your season going with your team? Pretty average so far. Um, there's, there's absolutely no uh, no reason to try and uh, polish it up because it hasn't hasn't been good. It's been a been a shocking start to the year, so uh, pretty disappointing in that respect. But you know, it's not through lack of effort and trying. And we need to get our act together and um, do a better job than, uh, than what we've been doing so far. And that includes me and the team. So, you know, a fair bit of fair bit of work to do. What's your future goals and ambitions for the rest of 2010 and 2011? Uh, 2010, just to, to you know start uh, being consistent and and start getting some some reasonable performances under our belt. You know we need to we need to uh, perform better than what we are. We need to be uh, running at the front of the field, and you know there's the potential is there for sure to to be on the on the podium and and regularly be up there. We just haven't um, anywhere near reached our potential yet, and um, you know for a team that's been around a long time, for a driver that's been around, around a long time, that's, that's uh, unacceptable, so we need to get our act together. Some of our TV viewers have got some questions for you and they wanted to know, what tips do you have for young drivers to get better? Well, we've, over the last couple of days, um, we've spent a lot of time uh, at the schools, we're at Mount Hunt College yesterday and uh, Ashburton uh, High School. And um, you know the, the message we're trying to get across is to obviously the, the, um, try and let them know about the dangers of driving cars. A lot of them have found out the hard way. Um, you know, uh, over 400 people every year find out the hard way about uh, about um, uh, the dangers of driving vehicles on the roads in this country. And uh, young people are at a serious risk because of their lack of experience and lack of knowledge and, and certainly no, ed no education um, is given to them about uh, learning to drive a car other than, you know, mum and dad uh, take them around the block a few times. So um, it's, it's a... It's a huge issue and uh, the risks are enormous and we need to try and eliminate that risk by, by uh, getting the awareness up and uh, getting them to, to have more, more training and uh, spend more time under supervised practice on the roads before they go out there by themselves because as soon as kids uh, go off on their restricted driver's licence the, the rate of accident and death and injury in this country for that age group just doubles instantaneously. So, you know, they're, they're not ready at uh, 15 to be driving. The age, the age is going to rise later in the year, it's going to become 16 and hopefully um, that will push, push out the, the time frame uh, for the licensing of young drivers and they'll have more experience by the time they, they are set free with their full licence. So uh, we just got to get the awareness up. You're a four times Bathurst winner. One of our viewers wanted to ask you what goes through your mind in those high pressure driving stakes? <laughs> what goes through your mind? Well you're concentrating but too hard to have too many things go through your mind. You know it's a, you're focused on the job that you're doing so um, you know it is, it is difficult. You need to maintain maximum concentration the whole time and it's, um, you're focused on trying to do the job which is uh, you know be as fast as you can and, and hopefully see the chequered flag before anyone else does. So you know that's the goal for everybody in, the, in motorsport. That's why we do it. Um, we're not there just to cruise around and make up the numbers. We're there to, we're there to try and win. And you know, um, especially for the likes of me who've, who've you know, been lucky enough to have success, you know, that's, that's the only goal, is to try and uh, win. We're pretty passionate about our district. We think it's a pretty amazing district, the Ashburton Absolutely. district. What do you think of it? Oh, it's great. I mean, it's a, it's um, total. Um, it's what uh, it's the epitome of Kiwi, and you know, it's a farming district. You know, and, and but it's a great little town that, uh, and we've got so many of them throughout New Zealand, and, and everyone should be proud of it. You know, um, it's a, it's a neat place, neat place to live, especially with the mountains just up the road, and, and just a, it's an amazing, amazing scenery. And um, you know, so far from what I've I've seen, you know, it's it, uh, it stands alone. You know, down this part of the of uh, Canterbury, and and it's a special place. So, you know. You know, everyone should be proud to live here. There's no doubt. You take things for granted. You know, you think uh, you know you struggle at some times to to uh, think that it is uh, as good as what it is, and you think you know the grass is always greener somewhere else. But um, when you spend time away, you realise that home is home, and, and it is special. 
I couldn't let this interview go past without saying, are we going to see you again, and are you going to be driving an Ashburton one day? Oh, I listen, I have no idea. It's a little bit early to tell. You know, I'm uh, always uh, keen to come back to the places that we've been and don't spend enough time here, so, you know, the likelihood is that we'll, we'll be back, but um, at this stage, you know, I uh, haven't finished this trip yet. Thank you so much, Greg. It's great to have you here. Thanks very much.